This is the life cycle of Plasmodium vivax, which is a protozoa from the phylum Apicomplexa, and it is what causes malaria. So it has two hosts. It has the definitive host and the intermediate host. The definitive host is where sexual reproduction takes place, and this is the mosquito. And then the intermediate host is where asexual reproduction takes place, and in this case, it's the human who is the intermediate host. Let's start it all out with a mosquito bite. All right, so you've got a mosquito that's infected with Plasmodium vivax. Well, the Plasmodium vivax is transmitted via saliva. Now, the um, part of the life cycle that the uh, that Plasmodium vivax is in when it is transmitted is it is in the form of a sporozoite. So these sporozoites are transmitted via the mosquito's saliva, and they travel through the bloodstream. Because remember, the mosquito's sucking your blood. And they travel to the liver. So here is a capillary bed full of little sporozoites migrating to the liver. In the liver, the sporozoites undergo schizogony, which is multiple fissions, and they form merozoites. So it can form thousands of these merozoites. From there, the merozoites go back into the bloodstream. They infect the red blood cells. They multiply, and then the red blood cells can't take it anymore, and they burst and release more merozoites out into the bloodstream. So here we go. We've got the ring cycle, and then it's expanding, and then kaboom, more merozoites spreading out throughout the blood. Some merozoites develop into male and female gametocytes, and these gametocytes just hang out in the blood. The other merozoites will go on and infect more red blood cells, but the, gam the gametocytes, they're just going to hang out. So what happens next? Oh, another mosquito bite. So the infected human is bitten by another mosquito who uptakes blood, and it in this blood, it's uptaking gametocytes as well because the blood's infected. So what happens after that? Oh, in the mosquito's guts, the gametocytes unite to form zygotes. Then the zygotes develop into sporozoites. The sporozoites migrate to the mosquito's salivary glands, and voila, another mosquito bite, and the cycle begins again. And so there you have it. That is the life cycle of Plasmodium vivax.